Hi everyone, my name is Julia Tong and I'm a physical therapist. I'm here today with a dynamic warm-up geared towards runners. So, start off with a little light jog in place. You want to do this for about a minute. So there are a couple of goals of the warm-up. The first one is to raise your heart rate a little bit, get yourself breathing a little more, and maybe even break a light sweat. So that's what we're going to do with this jog in place here. We're going to start that process. The other goal of any dynamic warm-up for any sport activity is to prepare your muscles and prepare your body to do the movements you're about to do. So a lot of these movements will be geared towards running as well as some other sport activities. So if you're feeling really ambitious, you can throw some high knees in there. Spike the heart rate a little bit more. Get the muscles ready. Or you can do a butt kicker. Get a dynamic stretch of those quads. In general, we want to do a dynamic movements before working out and then save those static long holds of stretches for after the workout. So this will be all dynamic movement here. All right, that was about a minute, so bring it down. And the first dynamic stretch that I like to do is a quad stretch, heel raise. So you're gonna grab your ankle and then raise up on the toe of your other foot, take a step, and keep going. So you wanna keep your knees together. Don't let them flare out to the side. You wanna focus the stretch on the front of your thigh. So if you find a space that's about 10, 20 feet, you can just go back and forth a few times, maybe closer to 20 or 30 feet. So you wanna have a little bit of space to go here. So draw that heel in towards your butt, get a nice stretch, and it's just a little quick stretch, not a prolonged hold. So go back and forth a couple more times here. So quad stretch, heel raise, getting that calf muscle ready. Your calf muscles are really important for powering your run. So the next one is gonna be a Frankenstein or straight leg kick, soldier march whatever you want to call it. You're going to kick up with a straight leg and use your hamstrings and glutes to pull your leg back down. So you want to keep your trunk upright. Only kick as high as you can while keeping your back straight and your knee straight. So for you, if that means it's here, that's okay. You might want to work on your flexibility a little bit, but you want to keep it in a range that you can do, keeping your back straight and knee straight. And you should hear your foot scuffing on the ground a little bit. The idea is to use those hamstrings to pull your leg back down. Activate those hamstrings just a little bit here. Okay? So the next one is going to be a walking figure four stretch. So you cross your ankle over your opposite knee. And you sit back into sort of a single leg squat. You should feel a stretch in your hip glute piriformis here. So you make a figure four and then sink back into the stretch. So you're really hinging your hips back for this stretch. You don't want your knee to come forward. You want to be sitting back into the stretch here. So go back and forth a couple more times. A little bit of balance work, a little bit of strengthening in that single leg squat, and a nice quick stretch here, get those muscles ready to go. Okay, so the next one is going to be a knee to chest lunge and twist. So you're going to draw your knee to your chest, lunge, rotate, rotate. Knee to chest, lunge, rotate, rotate. And I usually do my rotation towards the knee that's in front first. So knee to chest, lunge, rotate, rotate, knee to chest, lunge, and twist. So again, you want to keep your trunk nice and vertical during this. Make sure your knee isn't wobbling side to side. You want to keep it nice and stable. So we're just trying to get a nice, you should feel a little work in the leg, a little bit of core activation, a little bit of stretch in the front of the hip. So the next one is going to be a lateral lunge, lateral shuffle to lunge. So you're going to do one side shuffle, Hinge back into one hip, hinge into the other. Other side shuffle, hinge back, hinge back, and then you go back the other way. So really working on these 
side muscles. Even though you don't run side to side, it's really important to stabilize side to side. That's why I like doing this lateral motion here as part of warm up. So as you're hinging back, you want to push your hips back into that side lunge and you want to go back and forth both directions. Part of the shuffle is to activate those powerful muscles in the side of your hip. So we'll go back and forward one more time, pushing those hips back into the lunge, push off that leg for the shuffle, and then softly into the lunge. Okay, so the next exercise is an isometric lunge with rear knee extension. So one foot in front, one in the back, drop into a lunge, core nice and upright, you're gonna straighten and bend the back leg. So this front leg doesn't move, the back leg is straightening and bending. You wanna see this glute kick in. It should be drawing up to help straighten your leg here. You should also be feeling a little bit of a stretch in the front of the thigh. So this is really important in running. You really wanna be able to, I'll switch sides here, you really want to be able to power through your glute in a hip extended position. Because this is kind of a position you have to be in for running. Pushing back with your glutes while you're already in an extended position. Okay, so I really like this one for runners because it really targets a little bit of a front hip stretch as well as activation of the back of the hip here. Okay, so the last one for running is a power skip. You're gonna step forward, drive opposite elbow and opposite knee up. So really trying to get some height here. You can drive your arm higher up. This is prepping you for that kind of explosive movement, especially if you're gonna be doing some sprinting, okay? And that was it. Now you're ready to go out and run. Have fun, hopefully this helped you, and thanks for joining me.